What's up, YouTube? This is Nathan Exotics or Splendid Geckos coming to you guys with another video. Now, uh, I am building the rack, obviously, and now this is the second time me videotaping it. The first time I was look looking at it, uh, I the quality was absolute crap. I, it was blurry, it was fuzzy, it, it was so bad. So what I did to improve it was I just got the light from my fish tank and I'm going to angle it towards it. So you guys don't see this fuzzy, ugly light. Um, I'm going to make sure it's also focused as well. So I'll be building a four foot uh, rack. Uh, I am going to build a second layer. I don't know when. Uh, I didn't want one as of right now because I don't think I need one. Uh, it, this is only 16 inches back. It's uh, obviously four feet by 16. Uh, I'm using two center blocks. Uh, for the height just to get a little bit taller because once in a walk I don't think what is enough it wouldn't even make that much of a difference so I did two instead uh, the center box costs 94 cents each which is really cheap uh, I'm using six uh, even though I only need two uh, just I'm using the two metal ones for support just in case if something does happen last thing I need is gallons of water in my uh, geckos and all that dead or free around my room so that would not be really good uh, my dad is cutting the wood uh, soon, uh, and yeah, so this is what I have so far. I uh, didn't want to make a time lapse because it would be a waste of time of me moving center boxes, center box here and there. So this is what I have so far. It's five inches uh, back from the wall and one inch away from uh, this wall. Uh, and f since I'm putting this in, I'll be able to replace this. So I get these two tanks on here, my leopard geckos, five early toad. And for the second level, I'll be putting uh, my vivarium and any additional tanks, like maybe that, and maybe like a quarantine or something, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet, uh, but this is what I have so far, and I'll be back once I have the wood on. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Um, sorry it took me so long. This video took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, uh, I said in the pre uh, earlier that I had to help my dad with the dr uh, drainage system, so if it rained like crazy like it did last year, our house doesn't get flooded. That took twice as long as we expected because we had to break through a layer of rock to put the piping in. And it was we had to break it little by little and it was really annoying. And if you broke it too much, it, we had just to redo the rock and the mortar to keep it uh, still a strong structure. So that took a little bit while. And the glue didn't dry as fast as we thought we did. So I was an extra 30 minutes to 45. Uh, I'm drenched in dust, dirt, rocks, and sweat. So pretty messy right now. Um... It's now six, almost seven o'clock. Uh, I got the pieces of wood. It's half an inch shorter than we, uh, we were planning on it because my dad cut off a little on each side to make uh, it nicer. Because of the wood, the sides get dented or uh, ruined a little bit or written on or whatever. And we like to get a nice clean uh, edge. So this is what we got. Um, I'm about to put it on. Uh, sorry, like I said again, I, I promised Instagram like three, four hours ago that this video is gonna come out in an hour. Sorry that happened. I uh, just got really busy and I felt bad for not helping my dad for a little bit so I went out there and helped him to speed up the process a little bit and uh, yeah so I'll be back once it's on and uh, get everything ready. Okay so it took a little of me shifting the uh, center box because this is a half inch shorter to get it the right uh, length. Um, so you did have a little bit of extra but who really cares. Uh, I don't need this whole uh, block. Um, my tanks are all basically 10 to 5 gallons. So it will only be um, t uh, 12 inches, 10 to 12 inches back. And this is uh, 16. So this is probably 17, 18 inches back. So if I really wanted to, I can put my vivarium on this. But uh, I'll see how it goes. Uh, and yeah. So I'll be back once I actually have all the tanks on and it's all up and running. And if you're wondering why I have such a big back here, if I if I put this too close and this is hitting the center block, I have to move the entire thing to unplug something. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, and yeah, <coughs> this is what it looks like. Sorry if it's bad quality. This is my lighting, a fish tank light. So sorry, this is what I have to deal with. Um, best I can do for you guys right now. But yeah, so this is looking pretty good. And uh, definitely the like button if you enjoyed it so far. See you when it's all done and complete. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Super excited. It's all done. Sadly enough, it's not long enough to fit the 6-gallon or the 5-gallon. Um, the 5-gallon has a chance to fit. Um, I haven't tried it out yet. 
Uh, this is what I you know, I should do this. Oh, really? Sorry, it gets caught on the. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to do that to. There we go. So my leopard gecko is really pissed at me because my male's in shed right now. Female doesn't care. She's just chilling. My fish are kind of stressed. They're swimming around trying to jump out because I had to lower the water. I did like the 75% water change or at least get 75% of it out to get it uh, carryable and not shattered glass. Um, this is a huge runner. So I'm, I'm going to be able to get two to three new plants of this guy out. So that's pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind having a fa full tank full of just these guys in my 40. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, so it's looking pretty good. It's, uh, standing. Um, what I'm actually going to be doing is using these two compartments. Uh, there and here. For storage. And also maybe even to fit a tank. Because look at this. This 6 ounce can almost fit. And if it wasn't uh, so it wasn't curved like that, it could definitely fit. So the 5 doesn't fit, five gallon doesn't fit here, it fit it down there. And then I could be a lot easier to make videos. Um, now I took the little uh, thing out. That. That was holding the tanks previously. Uh, I have an extra 10 gallon I don't think I'll be using. Um, but this is what I got. Super excited. So this is pretty much the finished product. This is what I got. I'm, I, I really like it. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think you'll ever use it in your fish room or reptile room? That would definitely be pretty cool if I put that down in the comments down below. But that's all I pretty much have to say. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I definitely had fun building this. And I hope you guys had fun watching this. So, till next time, take care.